mistakes, I'm a gangster. I'm raising the stakes, get my cake up. All my shooters won't smoke, they'll vape some. Pistol came with a pencil to erase some. Writing a book, you know, you know, trying to take this time to really dig deep into a relationship situation with so much bullshit mm -hmm. going on on New York. Shh, that was kind of hard because. Ain't no telling any given moment you go to the hole. Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. There's gonna be some rides and all that type of stuff. But uh at that point in time I was writing, it was it was cool. It was it was cool. It was like little shit, but it was in-house shit going on that we could handle. But it was still some times that we had I had to put the book there. It took no, a no. it took a couple months to write this book. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? But, well uh, on the flip side, did any females read this book who had a problem with you? Speaking mm. on a certain situation and shit oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a few of them. It's <laughs> <laughs> a few of them. I still get phone calls for this damn book, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, this is my truth. I had to, and let like I had to unleash this shit because it was it was hindering me from treating a woman how they wanted to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Because right. at the same time, my, my my daughter's mother, she was she was holding me down. Like you know, she was coming. She was coming. She was at. The, she was sleeping in the parking lot. Yeah, in the morning, sure you know what I'm saying. Your daughter, make sure. Yeah, see my know, daughter. You know what I'm yeah, saying. You need and you no know what I mean? being there for you on, on on some of the things you need on the house. No doubt, but you know, and I and I know how they feel. You know what I mean? Because you know, you know, I have a wife. Mm. You know what I mean? No and, and she did the same thing, man. She held it down, rolled it out. You know, but at the sometimes she feel like you know uh, maybe she wasn't appreciated enough. You know, or maybe you know. Um, I was supposed to forget about everything in my past. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's not normally how real life go. Right. When you sit in them cells, homie, day at the day, month at the month, year at the year, homie, everything in your life you done done cross your mind. No. Nope. You know no what question. I mean? So let me ask you this. Because, you know, obviously females feel that before we went to prison that we didn't give them what they needed emotionally. Mm -hmm. What was stopping you emotionally from giving her what she needed when you was on the street? Straits, <laughs> cross Atlantic, shit, it's power ruin for real. Right, right, right. Because, I mean, it's like it's like like uh like I'm paying the fool, the movie paying the fool. Like when uh Mitch was saying, like it's like a basketball game. You feel me? You the you the MVP of the game of, the, of your team. It's like when you get out of way, like you still gonna have them fans. I still you still get that. That, that rush, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. nigga, I'm, I'm Donnie Rowe, like, yeah, nigga, yeah, I'm yeah, at the G, yeah, like, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, when you put that away, it's like, damn, you you the boyfriend, or you daddy now, you're like, right, damn, right, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Because everything is starting to slow down, but I couldn't give it to them. I was still infatuated with the streets and just that fast life at that time, you know what I mean? Well, let me ask you, time. yeah, I, I get you. Let me ask this question. Um, did you learn how to be more of a boyfriend um, because you didn't have no other choice based on the situation you was in? Or is that something over time you started to feel in your heart that this might be the person for me or this person treat me right so let me try to do a little right, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, on the flip side? I mean, it, it started off like that, like just I had no choice just to make sure I was straight. Just make sure a nigga wouldn't be lonely in this yeah, motherfucker yeah, yeah. first. But then I started appreciating how she, shit she was doing and recognizing, really comparing myself to the gang of dudes that was in there because niggas was doing bad. Yeah, and them yeah, niggas yeah. in there motherfucker couldn't eat in that damn soup, you feel me? But then, you know, that's what really fucked up everything because you start looking at, you have like females that have like a, uh, they perceive a man that's locked up, like, okay, they just, Jailhouse talk, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you hear dudes, or you know, when the dope pop, yeah, niggas yeah, run to that yeah, phone, yeah. niggas ain't brushing their teeth. Right, right, right. I right, love you, right, baby, right. and the, oh, baby, uh, whatever she doing, she got 15 minutes, and she, she knows she's about to hang minutes. up. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So, but when they get out, they don't fuck with them. So it made it, it made everybody look bad, like especially for the black men that's locked up. But it's like, I was like, damn. And I was talking and watching her, and, and a lot of dudes is really like respecting her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had to make sure I. Uh, did my due diligence and show my daughter that I can really change, you know, be there for her on some family shit. But you know, that's how I look at it. No, nah, no doubt, man. It, it, it did, you know, I knew that I had a good one, but at the same time, it was other homies had told me how good I had. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They like, dude, you got a hey, homie, they, they don't do this. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. You know, we steady be on the phone talking shit still, like, we, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. And you got dudes, like you say, haven't had a visit in years or, you know, don't have the assistance that we had. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, I think 
no matter what, we always got to commend them on that. But at the same time, you know, when you came home, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I mean, when it came to all the things that you said about being a man and trying to make a relationship work, mm -hmm. I mean, when you left, it was Donnie Rue, Pa Rue, across the land. Right. How was Pa Rue pulling at you when you came home? And how did you feel about, did you feel about the relationship stuff the same? Or did in your mind you say, well, damn, I, I, I was wrong. Maybe, maybe this, this street shit is too strong, pulling at me too strong. What was your perspectives on that? Well said. When I came home, I was, I was fully, I was really fully in my relationship though. Yeah. Because I seen the pain in, in my daughter's eyes though, you feel mm -hmm. me? So that, that made me really like switch it up. Even though the homies were still like calling and shit was going on in the streets, cause me coming home, I just shit, I lost a little brother. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I had, I had God. to, I had to really overcome that that feeling and try to stay away from there. If I, you know, go back to old ways, but um, yeah, I, I, I was committed to the family thing. Okay, you know what okay, I'm okay. I know that you use the term was not in the sense of um, what happened or nothing <laughs> like that, but at the same time. When 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 things didn't work out, yeah. Did the root grab your heart right back, or did, was it a battle? Stay tuned for the last and final part of Donnie Rue, Confession of a Cheating Heart.